Hi, good morning class. Today we are working with our skills in drama to work on our abilities to represent different emojis. And where this fits in with the rest of our curriculum uh, is with the work we were doing in English yesterday, which you remember we were exploring the value of larger words and more simple grade one words. And we know that we're in grade six, so we should be using bigger grade six words. So in our writing, we can use words like heartbroken instead of words like he felt sad or she felt unhappy, yeah? So today, we're, we're, we're gonna move into uh, using our, today's Walt is uh, learning to use drama practices to express emojis. So when we're acting out certain emojis, we might show our bodies in different ways. Who has an example of how you might, who could give me an expression of how they might demonstrate being sad with their bodies? That's right, Bernie, you might tilt your head down and look all glum. And what about, what about if you're happy? What might you do if you're happy? What sort of actions could you do? Yeah, that's right, we might lift our hands up in the air. Um, so today we're going to break off into groups of four uh, and we're going to explore uh, what kind of situations um, these certain emojis coming uh, could occur in. And we're going to act out situations and our partners are going to guess what sort of emoji is demonstrated in that situation based upon this terrific wheel. Okay, so who do you want to come up and spin the wheel? Just, just walk up to the wheel. Thank you. Just pretend to spin it. And spin. Whoa! Oh, okay, so Boomerang has got sad. So we know that when we're demonstrating an emotion like sad and we're linking it back to some of our previous learning uh, in dance, we know that our movements might be slow and our body posture will be maybe down. And we might have a bit of a frown on our face. But if we were, if we were to spin Sad, would we, would we be jumping up and down? No. Would we, would we have lively, active movements? No. Would we try and take up as much of the space as we can? No. No. So we'd probably be a bit more like you guys right now, just, yeah? So what I thought we'd do is the best way to learn is to just get up and have a go. So do you want to have a go, Isabella? And you can stand up, spin the wheel, and we're gonna try and we're gonna as a group, we're gonna we're gonna call out as many as many synonyms as we can come up with for the emoji that you're demonstrating. Okay. You're gonna put on for us. Okay. Alright, go up there, spin the wheel. Okay. Whoa! Tired. Oh, tired. 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 Oh, sad. We don't really want sad. Well, let's spin it again. <laughs> Okay. Why is it, so oh, sad? it must be. That's just always sad. That's strange. It can't always be sad. Or oh, happy. Be good one. Okay. So I'll act it out. Yes, please. So try and show us your lively movements. Okay. So skipping, happy. So all joyful. Delighted. Oh, elated. She's jumping up and down. She's exasperated. Oh. Uh, jumpy. Well, jumpy is a good word. Jump for joy. Joyful. Joyful. Okay, that was a terrific, terrific one. Thank you. And uh, I, I guess what we can do is we'll uh, we'll score those up onto a tally uh, and compare them. Thanks, everyone. Let's go do that. Breaking into groups of four, and we'll go do that. Cool. You can stop.